Hello Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. We're going to do a reading for the Aquarius Collective each and every day. So thank you for showing up here. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, um, we ask the cards the question of what should the Aquarius expect? Or what's the situation going on with Aquarius? I'm sorry, what is what is the situation? So it's funny, you got main female and main male coming out. When I see these two, it is that maybe you, and this is a love reading. Uh, we have a little bit of career and finance, but this is a love reading. This is what the cards wanted to talk about. And this is it. All right. So um, when I see main male and main female, it's that. You and a particular person were in some type of relationship dynamic, but it may have not been absolutely exclusive. Um, you could have had this other person as your side person, an extra person, or there was never a commitment made, um, spoken about. Um, it was just more so you guys were acting in the capacity of relationship or boyfriend and girlfriend. But there was nothing, no conversation, or if the conversation did happen, neither agreed on were boyfriend and girlfriend, or one was up for it and the other wasn't. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing there. It looks like you guys may be separated, but there will be opportunity for reconciliation. Now, people hear reconciliation and they just say, okay, we're getting back together. It's going to be great. We're going to run off into the sunset. No, no, no. You and I, let's say if you, Aquarius, whomever, you, yeah, you, if you and I were friends and we decided to, you know, our friendship was estranged, we decided to not talk to each other anymore. Um, that is that, right? Uh, but then we could reconcile. Now, in that reconciliation, we may not go back to being like we used to be. We may even just decide to reconcile our differences and move on in our own respective uh, paths in life. So reconciliation is here for some of you. And then also I'm seeing that a gift of money opportunity is going to be here for you maybe by the next holiday. Okay. Uh, because we have the gift card and it talks about by the next holiday. So maybe you will reconcile with this person by the next holiday. Uh, you will be giving a given a gift of money, either from the universe, this person, but something will be gifted to you where you didn't have to do anything for it. You didn't have to work hard for it. We also see here, uh, thoughts. Okay. And it definitely 16 and 17. This definitely could be about this man or this woman. Somebody is trying to manifest you by way of constantly thinking about you, uh, having you on their mind. There could even be masturbation. Uh, there could be a lot, a lot of things going on. This person is trying to manifest your energy or this is what you're doing, Aquarius, because this man has some woman, as you see there, on his mind, thoughts, the thoughts card. So it's like, let me, if I am not talking to the Aquarius, uh, let me continuously keep them on my brain Therefore, they think about me. Therefore, the universe kind of, kind of makes it happen to the point where we, I have the opportunity to see them, to reconcile with them, to talk to them. Whatever happens between the, the reconciliation is on you and your person, Aquarius. But do know this person or it's you, somebody's trying to manifest you, uh, maybe even be at the same place at the same time, um, you know, manifest a phone call, a text message, but they're trying to manifest your energy. They may even be coming to you in your dream space or at least trying to. Someone definitely could be masturbating uh, in terms of trying to bring you back. We got the bad health card. Um, someone is in a place of maybe uh, their health is declining. It's, it's bad in terms of maybe their mental or emotional health. They feel like they can't live without you or they just need your energy. This art, this card also talks about, it's the only card out of the Kipper deck that has a bed in it. So it talks about sexual activity. All right. That was, um, 
that was confirmation. It talks about sexual activity and, and it talks about maybe, you know, this person, uh, pleasures themselves to the thought of you. Okay. Um, and it, because they're trying to manifest a, a, a message from you. This talks about seven days, um, a good news message, you know, that they, they're trying to, and you could be getting this too, in terms of that gift here. Um, what you can expect Aquarius um, in the near future in terms of this situation here is destiny, the hand of destiny. And then you can also expect travel. So if you guys are a part, okay, so let's go to destiny. Destiny and gift are almost like the same thing. So the hand of destiny talks about a divine destined meeting. Um, where you you can uh, decide what you want to do in terms of meeting this person, but the universe is going to put you in a place uh, where you can actually um, physically come in contact with this individual. And then also it seems as if this person is trying to help it along, they're trying to manifest you. So the hand of destiny will, will uh, you know, play a part in this. Uh, because uh, somebody cannot let you go. The Four of Pentacles clarifies the, the hand of destiny. Someone can't let you go. There's a bit of aggression, a possessiveness, um, not being able to uh, really um, process their emotions accurately. Um, there's some deep-seated issues. I'm feeling a little anger too. Like somebody is angry at the fact that you're gone or you don't, you're trying to stay away from, you have gotten out of maybe a toxic, stuck, stagnant relationship where once again, the four of pentacles talks about a relationship that somebody, they, they pigeonhole it. They do not allow it to grow. They get it to this point and then they hold it there. So if you're thinking you're going to get the 10 of pentacles out of said individual, no, there. Someone is pigeonholing it. They are uh, dominant. They are uh, exerting their force over it. They're not allowing it to grow for whatever reason. They're stagnating the energy, and it looks as if uh, Aquarius got out of that because it just wasn't, you know, conducive to what they wanted. There could have also been uh, a relationship. You could have been the other woman, other man, uh, Aquarius. Somebody was keeping you outside of their heart space. They didn't want to allow you to come into their heart. Um, they didn't want to allow love to come in. They didn't want to allow themselves to love you because then that means they'd have to treat you right. They'd have to let growth happen. So they didn't allow it. You know, they kind of closed, excuse me, closed down. They shut down. It's like, wow. It's like somebody trying to shut you up or, or they were trying to shut it down. Um, this person could have ghost at certain times and then they will come back and reappear. They could have shut down their emotions, maybe even communication, and then they would just resurface. This was manipulation. This was control. Uh, we see that in the four of pentacles. Um, but we saw that maybe the universe helped you out of that also. Okay. Um, and then there's now someone who can't get over you, can't get over the situation. And there's, they're holding on to you, holding on to the thought of you coming back, coming back to this, the four of pentacles. This could also be the four of pentacles comes out sometimes when you see somebody who already has a relationship and then they have another relationship. So it's like the, the person is keeping the other person on the outskirts of their relationship. And you see she sits on the outskirts of town there or city. She, the city is there and she's on the outskirts. So it's like somebody had a relationship. They weren't allowing you to, you know, penetrate or get close to this relationship they already had. They had you on the outside. Um, it was a, like a layered connection. You know, you this person is here, then this one there. And then, you know, so um, you might have been dealing with that. What you can expect is travel. You become the queen of pentacles. It says that because some of you have decided to leave toxic stuck relationship behind and understand there's no growth there. You're getting a gift from the universe. Um, you're going to become the queen of pentacles where money looks good. You're doing a lot to bring in money, um, but it feels good. And it, there's growth there. There's also luck associated with you with the rabbit. Some of you just focus on money, um, uh, 
different streams of income, looking good, your fitness, because the queen of pentacles is focused on how she looks, uh, being fit, healthy, what she puts in her body, what she eats, uh, what she puts on her skin, her hair. You're focused on you and solely you, Aquarius. And it looks like it's going to, this energy is going to take you somewhere. You could travel for work or you could be in a capacity now. You will travel for work. I, I just heard some of you are going to get offices. So if you don't have an office, especially if you are self-employed, if you don't have an office, you will be going to needing to get an office and you will get an office and you will travel back and forth to your office, office to home and people coming to your office. It looks like things are really going to open up for you, Aquarius. So if you're a man or a woman, it just seems as if um, you're in a place of abundance. You also have come to know your worth and what you bring to the table. Not really just, um, you know, it's a really cliche, know your worth, but it's really you embodying your worth because the queen of pentacles is the empress embodied. Um, so it's like you, you understand who you really are. You know that you're a catch, you know, and, and it, it, it's more than surface level. Your looks, you know that you have so much to offer any situation. And some of you are definitely traveling for work and making the money, the big bucks while you're doing it and looking good. All right. So Aquarius, some of you are still like, well, what would you they do? Um, so here's the advice for you. You, you got leaving. Okay. And then you got seeking and finding what this card leaving talks about is it. If you read the book, it specifically talks about leaving back to these words, a toxic stuck situation, relationship behind understanding that you, the only way you can institute change is to leave you don't you can't stay in it and pray for change to come you can't manifest change you have to leave so you have to leave something or leave it behind Aquarius this is the advice for you um some of you have already left the, then you just need to go ahead and take this as a stay gone you know and some of you are on the brink of and you're trying to go back and forth with a decision to leave and you're getting the advice of leaving because what you are seeking Aquarius is looking for you too you will find what you're seeking um if it is a more committed relationship and, and the queen of pentacles talks about coming into a more committed um period in your romantic sector um there, it also talks about maybe some woman uh, will help you in terms of um, your business, whatever your business may be. Your business may be your career. So, you know, and, it, and you also have your own business. Um, seeking and finding, it just talks about learning, knowledge, growth. Learn from this toxic, stuck relationship situation, whether it's friends, romantic partner, family. Learn from it. What did you learn from it? it you know, it behooves me for people to go through all these different things in life and they, they can't even, you know, learn anything from it. Can't tell you three things that they learned from it that now is coupled into or is now their own personal philosophy. That's what personal philosophy is. And it is uh, life experience. And now you take it with you and now you have created your own personal philosophy about life by way of what you've learned. But Aquarius... Do know that uh, you need to learn from this and what you are seeking, you will find it. Some of you, this also talks about put your head in a book, learn, knowledge. Um, I don't know everything. You don't know everything. Um, always be increasing your knowledge or your skill set, okay? And then Aquarius, uh, we just got these cards. They, they wanted to come out. Um, we've got self-employment and support. Do know that there will be, especially if you're self-employed, you're going to have so much support of the universe personally. And then there will be people who patronize your business, whatever it is you do, they will support you. You have a product, a service that is needed. Um, you are filling a void. Maybe you have a niche type of business, uh, Aquarius, uh, self-employment is highlighted. If you have been thinking about going into self-employment, then this is, um, confirmation for you. It should be confirmation for you. Uh, do know, get support, get support of people who know, who have uh, knowledge of expertise about what it is you're doing or starting a business or whatever it is you need. Do know that there were people, there are avenues of support, um, 
you know, people and things, uh, groups, agencies that can help you along in terms of self-employment. You don't have to go it alone is what I'm seeing here. Um, just increase your knowledge set with the seeking and finding. So Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, if you have a question about your particular situation, go over to the website, book there. Also, I want to, um, whoa, there you go. I want to, uh, introduce well not even introduce because I've, I've brought it to the the channel before but uh ruby's daughter she makes a really good money oil i don't know if you can see that money oil it smells phenomenal you can rub it on your hands your person or your purse or your wallet um i used it today um and and um you know I got some really good news. Um, we can uh, we can associate that with the oil and other things that I do. But definitely, if you want to increase uh, the probability of this, you know, of bringing in money, get this oil. Uh, also, do, say your prayers and do the work. You know, um, y your God, whoever your God is, cannot bless you know, nothing, you, you, you bring nothing to the table. So make sure you're doing something. Okay. It is for you to do the possible and for God to do the impossible. Thank you, Aquarius. And I will link uh, Ruby's daughter, her money oil below. It does smell, um, phenomenal and they're 100% natural product. Okay. Um, just from essential oils. All right. So, um, all links are below. Ask a question by text texting it to the number below and you can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link if you want me to drink my coffee that I don't drink um or my tea you can buy me a tea or a coffee thank you guys many blessings to you